It is December. Are you feeling Christmas yet? Well, hopefully now you do. Welcome back to my reading corner. Thanks for joining me. Today we are doing the seven days of top seven and it is day number one. This is hosted by Book Rose and I'm really excited to be a part of it. Today it is all about the top seven books that should be made into movies. Please apologize if any of these have been picked up to become a movie and I don't know about it. I have tried researching it a little but I'm not too big into movie adaptation from a book a scene. I And I, I usually just like to be surprised when the movie comes out. I'm just looking at books that I have read in 2017. Some of these books are older and some of these books are new released, but um, yeah, I have read them this year. So my number seven is Feed by Maya Grant. I do like myself a zombie book and a zombie movie every now and then. Like this is a good mixture between like action and blood spill and politics and things going on like what I really like about these types of books is like how people behave when it, a catastrophe happens so in this book I do think this is a very this paints a very interesting picture that could translate very well into a movie also there is a plot twist fairly at the end well it's not really a plot twist but like a major milestone something quite big happens that changes the dynamic of this book I, and I think that would translate very well onto a movie because in a movie it, this would most likely come rather unexpected uh yeah this would be a good movie number six is rebel bell I could see this being produced by Disney sort of a high school meets superhero Disney movie. I can see that happening and I would just like to see it because I loved the humor in it and I do like these types of movies. Number five would definitely make a good movie and I do think the whole series should be a movie and that's the Magnus Chase series. I know that we had a few movies that went into that direction. We had a Percy Jackson movie but I think that this has some interesting characters that I would just love to come to life in a movie. Number four I have listened to on audiobook and is the only one on this list that I know for sure is going to be a movie and I can't wait because it is Ready Player One. Listening to the whole story, like every other minute, I was like, oh my God, I wanna see that in a movie so bad. I wanna see how they translate it. I was so pumped when I finally saw the trailer for the movie. I am so excited to see that one. Loved the story, loved that idea and the setting. Loved it, can't wait for it. I hope I'm not disappointed. My number three, Acht Nacht by Fitzek, and I have listened to that on audiobook as well. I have not seen an English translation of this book. I really like this author a lot, even though it's not YA. He is like, he's a thriller author. If you like plot twists, be sure to pick one up if you can. I lo always love like how my mind is racing to figure out who's behind what's happening in the book and how this is gonna play out. It just blows my mind when it's resolved. I do think that Acht Nacht would be a really great action movie. Acht Nacht is following a protagonist that is nominated in a game um, and he, what he finds out is that within this game you can for a few bucks nominate a person to be hunted for 24 hours. This game is promising that within these 24 hours the, you can kill this one person without having to suffer any consequences and the person who will claim the kill of the hundred person will claim I don't know what it was like 10 million dollars or something so all you need to do is register on the site for like 10 bucks and if you are the person who kills the hunted person you receive all the millions it has been in social media perceived as a joke at first and people are discussing heavily if it's true or not. There are so many people who are thinking that this might be true and if this might be true um, there might be a lot of money in it. So we're following this protagonist who is being hunted and um, he is joined by a second protagonist who is nominated as well because um, as we find out there are two people nominated for some reason. Um, and it all unravels and there's a lot of action and there's a lot of uh, shebang and it is all resolved in the end with a whoa moment. 
My number two is Dear Mighty Things. I loved the concept. I think we never have enough gamesy, challenging, like competing, spacey, sci-fi, NASA movies. Um, this did not make my number one because I am a little conflicted about the end. I think the plot twist at the end would not translate very well into a movie and could have done better. Anyways, okay. And my number one is Shabam. Shabam! I just want to see it. I want to see the characters. I want to... I just want to see it. Um, no reason. It's just... Can I watch it, please? Can you make that a movie, please? I've read about uh, Lee Madugo books being picked up by DreamWorks, um, but I want to see this, please. Would you please, please make, please make that a movie? Can you make that a movie, please? You know how people always show like on their thumbnails the books like that so you don't know what it is? Well, guess what? I think you would know what this one is. Right? So this is my top seven. Thank you to Book Roast for hosting this and coming up with the idea. I had a lot of fun choosing my top seven for this one and I can't wait for the following days and I can't wait to see what everybody else is coming up with. Hope you'll join me in my reading corner again soon. Bye!